Oliver? Busy. Like you asked to see me? Oh, right. Sorry. Come in. I've been working without an assistant, which is why you're here. There are a few other candidates, so may the odds be up in your favor. I'm asking all of the applicants to create a mood board. I want you to use fashion to tell me who you are. OK. I can do that. Sutton, make me feel something. Absolutely. Thank you for considering me. You should thank Lauren. I don't think I've ever heard her gush about someone before. It was kind of alarming. Anyway, she brought me two names, actually, yours and someone else. But the other girl has zero fashion experience, not even a summer job at the mall. I mean, who doesn't work at the mall at some point? Anyway, I love that you went to FIT. Oh. Obviously, um, I have I multiple think... candidates to consider. You know, I have favors and such, but you have an inside track. Um, Oliver, the thing Sorry, is actually. I have to go talk to Jacqueline. Bye. Bye. considering me for the fashion assistant job. That's amazing. I know, but he... Wait, what did you I just say? I said he wants somebody who went to fashion school. He would be lucky to have you. Oh my god. Sutton? Oliver told me that Lauren recommended you. I had no idea that you also went to FIT. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> small world, right? How did I not know that? I bet we know so many of the same people. I know. I don't know. I, well, I was pretty focused. He didn't really hang out much. Did you ever have design with Peterson? Yeah, he was... Crazy, right? Always in a weird hat. Hats. The weird mm -hmm. hats. Totally. Ugh. Love that guy. Really? Mm. He made me cry at least three times. I thought everyone hated him. Well, it was like a love-hate relationship, you know? I don't, but if you can handle Peterson, you'll do fine with Oliver. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Oliver. Good morning. I heard that you're considering new assistants. You made a pick yet? Not yet. There are a couple of internal candidates. Lauren recommended her assistant. Ah, oh, uh, Sutton, Brady. I did an informational interview with her the other day. I was really impressed. I know that she doesn't have a fashion degree, but she's really smart. She's been with the company a long time, and I think it'd be great if we ended up giving her a shot. Noted. Good. So, this is it? This is it. I can really see the FIT influence. You can? Sutton, I'm going to ask you a question. Did you really go to FIT? Um, no. And I know that I should have said something as but soon as... But you didn't. In fact, your opening move in our relationship was to lie to me. I know. I, I don't know why. Neither do I, Sutton. Thank you.
You're invited to join me at Findo's tonight, where I will most certainly be drowning my sorrows in alcohol. Oh, babe. I feel so bad about that. No, it was my choice to lie to Oliver. Yeah, but it was my suggestion. It was my choice. How did Oliver find out? I don't know. But he did, and now he thinks I'm the kind of person whose first move is to lie. Well, we know that's not who you are. Yeah, we know you better than anybody. Better than Oliver. Yeah. Thanks, Munchkins. But I don't think that's gonna matter. Lauren Park's office. Hey. Just wanna say hi. I'm so happy to hear your voice. I'm having a terrible day. Talk to me. I'm not getting the job. What do you mean? An hour ago, you were the front runner. What do you mean? How would you know I was the front runner? I ran into Oliver. And you talked about me? Yeah, I wanted to put in a good word. Don't worry. Totally professional. I just wanted to help. Oh my god. How could you do that? That means I really am screwing up. No, what are you talking about? All I told him Whatever. was... It doesn't matter. I'm not getting the job. OK, hey, Sutton, back up. What happened with the job? He thought that I went to FIT. It was a miscommunication. No. I mentioned that you didn't have fashion school experience. You said... Sutton, I am so sorry. No. It's my fault. And I'm going to deal with this myself. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? I was so close, Jane. I finally found something that I really want and something that I'm actually good at. And you're right. I can do this. If I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down swinging. <laughs> so I have to show Oliver who I really am. OK. But what is all of this? Well, that's obviously my prom dress. Oh, obviously. You know. And in here is the U2 tank top that I was wearing when my mom told me that she couldn't afford to send me to college. Did you bedazzle it yourself? Yeah. And this is my high school diary. Oh, it's the letter from your dad. Yeah. I just feel like if I'm going to lose this job, it's going to be me who loses this job, you know? Not some fake FIT girl. What? I didn't go to FIT. I'm sorry. I should have told you. I went to Penn State, and I lived at home because it was the only thing I could afford. I have no fashion background at all. I never even worked in a mall. But I've devoured fashion magazines since I was a kid, and I have impeccable taste. I want this more than I've wanted anything in my entire life. And I would work my ass off for you. Here's everything else you need to know about me. Sutton, can I speak to you for a moment? If you can't do it with feeling, don't. Who said that? Patsy Klein. Impressive. You know where I was when I heard her sing for the first time? The back of my daddy's pickup truck. I'll deny it to anyone who asks, don't even think of calling page six. But underneath these designer clothes, I'm small town Oklahoma. No fancy fashion degree, no Ivy League college. Really? I did so well. Hmm. Maybe a little too well. I didn't realize that until I saw your mood board. You moved me. It's real sudden. Real is good. Real is what makes you who you are. So, what are you saying, exactly? 
You get one lie, and you spent yours. Now, I need you to do something for me. Go tell Lauren I poached her assistant. 